Today's video is a sunscreen showdown between these two right here. <laughs> because honestly, I think I found a dupe. I'm pretty sure that this is a dupe of the very expensive Dr. Jart Every Sunday Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50 coming in at $40. And this one, Haro Haro Wonder Mineral Sunscreen is around 15 or less. <laughs> so that's a big difference. I did get this one as a 100 point perk off Sephora. Uh, and I'm so glad I did because I absolutely love this sunscreen. And I got two and a half uses out of this and I was gonna buy the full size. And then I was like, wait a minute, this feels familiar to me. If it's similar to the Haro Haro Wonder Black Rice Pure Mineral Relief Daily Sunscreen SPF 50 plus with PA and four pluses for very high protection. Watch me put these on my face and tell you if it's a dupe or not. Okay. <laughs> be comparing these two because this one the Dr. Jart mineral sunscreen reminds me a lot of the Haro Haro Wonder uh, mineral sunscreen they're both SPF 50 they're both for sensitive skin they both give a natural matte effect this one is has fragrance and this one doesn't and of course there's a price difference I only have a little bit of this one left so I'm gonna put it on one side of my face. Okay, so while I'm putting this on, let's talk about the last time I was on a plane. I know that seems to come out of left field, but we, looks like we are going to be taking a trip for the first time with the kids in either June or July. It's not set in stone yet, but it's pretty much gonna happen. And I'm super excited. <laughs> the last time that I was on a plane and took a trip, was when I was pregnant with my son. Mind you, he is about to turn 16 next month. And we went to visit family in Austin, Texas. I, we currently live in South Carolina. And we did all the touristy things. So I grew up every year going to Austin, Te Austin Texas to visit family. Love Austin. Every time I've been, we'd never done touristy things. Like I hadn't walked around downtown. We did the, you know, the, the big boat thing that starts out on um, land <laughs> with wheels and then it drives into the water. Yeah, we did that and they give everybody like duck whistles and stuff. We just walked around and looked at the buildings. Honestly, I don't remember that much about it because it's what, it's been what, 16 years? <laughs> and I was a traveler in my teenage years and my 20s. I did a lot of international traveling our little trip is not international. It'll still be in the States, but it's somewhere exciting. <laughs> Continue, I'm just gonna use the rest of this in my face. This has a natural matte texture. It feels so nice and nourishing going on. It doesn't feel thin, like it's a pretty, see, it doesn't like move. It's a pretty thick formula, but you don't feel it on your face once you rub it in. It feels very moisturizing. I can put it on my eyes too and it doesn't irritate it even though it has a light orange scent, which I absolutely love. I really kind of want the full bottle of this. All right, I'm gonna put this on the other side. The Haro Haro Wonder. The things I love about Austin, Texas is I love how weird it is. I like that that's their slogan because I am originally from Asheville, North Carolina and it's weird in Asheville too, it's weird. Asheville, not Nashville, Asheville. <laughs> okay, so this one obviously has more of a white cast, okay. I love going to, do you remember Schlitterbahn? <laughs> Is that still there? It was like a, it was called Schlitter, Schlitterbahn. It was German, I think, and it was a big water park. Oh my goodness, as a kid, that, it was so much fun. Where you would be, you go, you just sit on inner tubes and go, down lazy rivers and water slides. And then I remember the best part was the one part of the lazy river that went directly into a river. <laughs> I always thought that was the coolest thing ever. And I remember begging my family to take me, you know, on the big slides and just hanging out in the water. It was so much fun. So here's a crazy story. I have a relative that I used to stay with who was married at the time to a billionaire, a very, very wealthy businessman in Austin, Texas, who lived in this 
castle. To me, it was a castle. It had one of those infinity pools. Now this was back in the eighties. It had one of those infinity, infinity pools. It was on the side of a cliff that overlooked Lake Travis. I had the hot tub. They had way back in the eighties, they had a the huge movie projector in their living room that basically you're watching movies on a, on a movie theater screen. Um, when I was little, my aunt used to let me stay in what they called the princess room, <laughs> which was like a guest room with two double beds that had like the canopy beds, you know, and they were all frilly. And I thought that was the best thing ever. And in the bathroom, she would have these teeny tiny little perfumes. And I would beg to have them because I loved, I didn't really like the smell of the perfume, but I absolutely loved like the shapes and they, some of them would have crystals on the top. And thinking back on that, the reason she didn't let me have them was because they were like Chanel, <laughs> Dior. They were all in bougie brands, which <laughs> I didn't know. As a little kid, I was just like, ooh, pretty and sparkly and clear and looks like princess, princess little bottles, but, but she let me play with them. Oh, I would spend like hours at her house just playing with his bottles. And my uncle, he had a uh, Lamborghini. And it's the only time I've ever seen a Lamborghini. The ones where the doors open up word. What color was it though? I don't even remember what color it was, but he took us, he took, we got to go for a ride in it and that was fine. Um, but they aren't married. They got divorced. And that was a long time ago in the eighties. Okay. Thoughts. They look exactly the same on the skin. <laughs> they're both like, I can't tell that they're different sunscreens. Neither one has a white cast on me. Can you tell? You can't tell either, can you? They both feel the same amount of stickiness. I did wash my hands between putting these two on, which I probably cut out and you didn't see. This one I put all around my eye, eye area because it's fragrance free. Whereas this one has a beautiful scent, but honestly it's not bugging under my eye. No wonder I really like this one because I love this one. <laughs> I wish that Korean sunscreens would put the percentage of titanium dioxide and zinc oxide on the back of the packaging and they don't because I can't compare to see if they have the same percentages. So if you want a cheaper version, if you don't, of this, this Dr. Jart, go for this one. So I'm putting on my foundation, my Misha BB cream. <laughs> I just want to let you know that neither one of these sunscreens pills under foundation for me. They, no pilling. Because I was telling a story while I was putting on the sunscreen, I did go back over my eyes <laughs> to make sure I put enough. When I talk, sometimes I don't pay attention to what I'm doing, so. <laughs> I know somebody can relate to that. <laughs> foundation just sits beautifully on top of, on top of both foundations, but neither one are water resistant or water proof. So I don't recommend exercising in them or getting sweaty. Daily use, daily wear. <laughs> these are good for. I'm all finished putting this on the side. Okay, finished product. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with my hair, so please ignore my hair. These sunscreens act as a gorgeous primer under foundations. It just makes your skin look so smooth, in my opinion. They sit fantastic under makeup. Okay, similarities. <laughs> they look the same on the face. They both have that natural matte finish alone on the face. I would wear both of these alone. Leave the house with both of these on. These both look beautiful under my foundations. A smooth, it acts like a primer. It's so smooth. <laughs> They're both SPF 50 plus. Neither one are water resistant. They're great for daily use, but not for sweating or going in the pool. They're both mineral sunscreens, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. This one is un unscented. There's no scent. This one has a beautiful, fresh squeezed orange scent that I absolutely love that dissipates quickly on the face. It doesn't hang around. So if you're going for unscented, yes, yes, yes. If you want a scent at $40, <laughs> get this one. Uh, again, 40 versus 15, you should get this one. I have discount codes for both Style Vanya and Yes Style that I will pop up on the screen and put links in the description box of this video for you because you can get an extra additional five to 10% off of this. So it's gonna be less than $15. I mean, it's a no brainer, right? I hope this video was helpful. Today is a great day to wear sunscreen. I'll see you in my next video, bye.